Hi guys, today I'm going to a friend to do some portrait photography and it's gonna be fun. You're gonna to have to wait a second or a few seconds before I'm gonna tell you who I'm actually visiting today, but it might be someone that you actually recognize from before. It's currently minus seven degrees Celsius outside here in Gothenburg, Sweden. And I am going to shoot today with a Sony a7R5 on location, which is the first time that I actually shoot with that camera on location using flashes. And the flashes that I'm going to use today is the Ellen Chrome 5 and the Ellen Chrome 1 using also a couple of soft boxes and maybe some color gels to get some color into the shot. It's gonna be fun and hopefully you'll come along to see how the shooting turns out and to also see who I'm actually meeting in just two minutes. As you can see, I have my super fancy camera bag. Who might this be? Hello. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> nice to see you. It's Peter. Look at this vlogging setup, huh? Isn't it amazing? This guy, he's taking the YouTube game seriously now. I love this. I've been at his back for the last two and a half years, and now it's finally happening. Ah! You're recording. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've made I've made a little bit of a. Uh, upgrades I guess to the battery holster so for those of you that don't shoot with CF Express cards like I do um, which is probably a, a lot and then you can choose if you want to use CF Express or regular SD cards as storage and as you can see right here I am working on making a holster for the micro SD cards as well so in that case, you're gonna have five card slots that you can use. So I actually have a Ellen Chrome 5 here in a 100 centimeter softbox, and I have the Ellen Chrome 1 here, and it's in a 70 centimeter deep octa, and I'm going to shoot Peter while he sits in front of the computer doing some editing in Final Cut Pro. So it's gonna be fun to try it out. I'm not sure which color I'm gonna use on the color gel, but I think I'm gonna shoot something like maybe cyan or something orange in this one, so I'm gonna add a Lee color filter in that in just a second. Billetas in. He's not even recording here. Is he? No, I don't think I don't think he is. Okay, here we go. If you're watching this, subscribe to his channel. He's definitely worth it. Okay, so we have this set up here. Peter is going to sit in front of the computer doing some editing in Final Cut Pro. And we have the main light is an Ellen Chrome 5, which is set up with a 100 centimeter shallow softbox. We have a kind of a kicker, which I have a color gel. It's a cyan or magenta, no, cyan gel. It's gonna be a, a way of boosting this light in the background to actually motivate that. So I needed something to drink to be able to pull this through. I'm shooting at one five hundred of a second and I'm currently at an aperture of 1.4 with an ISO of 100. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> it's kind of, we have the cyan, cyan color in the background, so this turns out pretty nice actually. I could probably go for the 85 millimeter here to get a, a bit more compression. <laughs> Today we're gonna eat some uh, some homemade Swedish meatballs. It's gonna be uh, gonna be very tasteful. The first time I'm trying these out, I want to do a review of how the meat tastes in the in the meatballs. And then we have some mashed potatoes right here. As you can see, we're gonna we're gonna taste that together with the green stuff that we got. And uh, hopefully this combo is gonna be very very uplifting for my mouth. It's gonna feel like it's rising up and my stomach's gonna feel full and we're gonna get back to you at the end of this video. Oh, <laughs> wow. 
Meatballs. Mm -hmm. I have to say, these were some of the absolute best meatballs Peter's actually had. And it was a blast meeting Peter and Anton today at Peter's studio, taking some portrait photos of Peter. And I would like to mention the a few things about the Sony A7R 5 before I end this video. And it was a blast using this camera. This was my first time I used it during a photo shoot in flashes on location. And what I enjoyed most with the camera was its ability to really nail the focus in the eyes even though I had things like glasses and, and caps in my way and also I did take some photos in backlight with really harsh shadows and, and really tough conditions for the autofocus but it nailed the focus every time which was a blast to see. I'm going to use this camera as my main camera for photo shoots, for portrait shoots, for product photography and it's going to be a blast using it going forward and the camera has a bunch of other qualities which you can probably learn a lot more about online. Thank you very much for watching today. I wish you a great evening. I wish you a great day. I wish you a great weekend. Whenever you're seeing this video, take care.